All right, now the last thing I just wanted to demonstrate was the output at uh, 15 and 30, uh, yeah, 15, I'm sorry, 30 and 50 amps, what the hell am I saying? Um, so when we first start it up, it's going to have 30 amps, and then I'm going to uh, boost it up to 50 amps, and we're going to all do that using the front control box. So bring the uh, camera up here, Jim. Damn it, who took my keys? Was that me? Hey, uh, Rob, could you keep him, could you keep him entertained for a second? Yeah. All right, so system's on, and uh, let me adjust him up to here. Get a shot of this over here. Get that, hold on, relax here. Back up. <laughs> it's uh, 15 amps. That's 15 amps. Yeah, right around there. So here, you get a shot of these bubblers too. A shot of the bubblers. So this is the output that I'm getting. Uh, it kind of spurts a little bit, but uh, it's fairly consistent, especially uh, when you're moving along in a car. I think the vibrations help shake the bubbles loose. But uh, what's interesting to note is that I'm getting, I get better fuel mileage at 30 amps than I do 50. So that's uh, a lot of uh, people say if they're too much. Too much HHO is not a good thing, and I'm a firm believer in that. So yeah, here we are. We're at 20 amps input. This is what the uh, car's alternator and battery sing. And then uh, we've got 25 amps here and 25 amps here. Now this is 50 amps, which is uh, it's a pretty steady stream. Are you getting the bubblers? <laughs> hey, of course. Uh, that's all right. Um, this is a pretty steady stream. Um, I got to measure the output. I'll do that uh, shortly. But um. I just wanted everybody to see it. I mean, the uh, the cable itself comes through. It goes through my uh, car's uh, interior and the units in the trunk. Uh, the cells are completely submerged, so they're less uh, explosion explosion prone. Um, you know, but I trust I trust the system fairly well. I've uh, I've hand built everything, and I I frequently transport my 18 month old son around in the car all the time with this system on and running. And uh, to date, I've seen gains of. Uh, three to seven miles per gallon uh, in both city and highway uh, more so in the city I think because of the, the uh, lower RPMs but uh, yeah that's about it